a lot of the stars and actually a little mini cast reunion of one of my favorite shows on ABC, late 60s, early 70s, was Land of the Giants. And uh, we had Don Matheson and this lovely lady here to my right is the lovely Deanna Lund. Thank you for coming on. Oh, you look great. Thank you. So do you. Now, I interviewed you many years ago. We got to update this because oh I'm such a big fan. That's right. Now all of them are available on DVD. Yes, and they are. I, I was able to buy the seasons, the two seasons. And what an excellent show. And we talked to Don. And you actually met Don on the, uh, you know, married on the, on the show. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Actually, um, had the show gone on, yeah. you know, we yeah. were going to get married on the show. Which... That's great. And you know what? <laughs> Don and also all the other cast members say that the show had good ratings. Uh, it was expensive to make, and ABC just pulled the plug. Uh, and it was one of my very, very favorite shows. Well, Cleopatra sunk it. Yeah, that's what yeah. Don was saying. And, yeah. and, and that made sense, too, because at the time, uh, it was a big disaster with a lot of money lost. Oh, it was, apparently, it was just one one crisis after another yep. while they were shooting. Right. Uh, I think Elizabeth Taylor got very ill and she yeah. had a yeah. pay or play kind of contract. So it was it was really sad and um, unfortunately our show was the most expensive show on the air at that time. Yes it was and, and then that and the time tunnel were both these real classic Erin Allen classics and they didn't last very long and your show actually outlasts time tunnel because it only lasted one season. Yeah, I and, know, and that's too bad. I love yeah, that show. And, and both the shows had good ratings, and I, and I, I think it was exactly that reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's you know it, it's too bad, and I I wish somebody would would do it again because it was we were just talking about that to a fan re, a few minutes ago about how it didn't have any of the the current stuff. It didn't have swearing. It didn't have sex. It didn't have violence. Right, and no big and, special effects. I mean, they had the big effects of the giants, but no, uh, you know that. Uh, computer generated oh, stuff yeah. and what you saw is what you got yeah. these guys were very physical Don and Gary and all them guys were very physical and I go and you girls got around very well <laughs> yourself grappling well, hooks and uh, <laughs> we did because you know the this the star of the show was the special effects I mean it was yeah. the giant props and the and the whole adventure of, of what it created, you know, and and so we we did do our own stunts. We had stunt people there. Yeah. But you know, we, for the most part, if we could do it, we did it because we just wanted to keep busy. And did you get hurt? Get into. Mm -hmm. I always got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an accident waiting to happen. You know. And, and, just, and you know, you blew it a couple of times. Your character because it, it, you couldn't do something. You got trapped in the box. And here comes the giant. I said, Deanna. <laughs> get out of there. Yeah. But you know, uh, you, you, you had the, the mini skirts. That was the very first in the TV series for that. Yes, uh, it was. You yes. looked just really classy. Well, our, our designer Paul Sostupnovich, he was just—he was amazing. Yeah. I mean, I had no idea that that costumes when th that was before stretchy fabric. That's true. And, so and it boy, was, you know, uh, you would kind of watch and say, "What? what? How does she doing that without?" <laughs> <she doing that?" laughs> Beautiful. If you gained a pound, you knew it. <laughs> oh, it, oh man. And you know your your co-star, uh, the the other gal, Heather. Heather. Heather Young. How is she doing? She's doing great. I just saw her at Chiller, and we just had the best time. Oh, good. Yeah, but the only cast member is no longer with us is the actor who played Fitzhugh, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And Kurt. Yeah. Uh, Kurt. Kurt Kastner. Kastner. He was just a wonderful, wonderful. His character man. was something else. It he, was something. it was him. Really? I mean, he was crazy. He was just. Absolutely crazy. Oh, I, mean, I don't want to do that. I don't want to. Uh, the John Jonathan, uh, what was it? Uh, Jonathan Harris. Dietrich. The oh, Jonathan Harris yes. on that show. Yes. yes, uh, yes. A little bit. I noticed this kind of the same uh, seven uh, cast members. Yes. But Land of the Giants were a lot more serious. It was never really corny. Like Lost in Space got yeah. really corny. And yes. Land of the Giants really never did. No, it didn't. Uh, and, uh, and that's, it wasn't camp. It was played yeah, for real. Yeah. You know? I mean, that's the way he wanted it, and that's the way I think all of us really looked at it. Is that the the part that made it exciting is that it was adventure, and that's why so many people now that come back, fans, or you know, young younger boys usually that watched it, and and um, 
they they just could fantasize, you know, of being in that situation. I fantasized of uh, meeting Deanna Lunn, and I did. <laughs> but but no, it was an uh, sweet talking. Well, it was beautiful color, beautiful color. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, and you guys had you you ladies had beautiful costumes. The, all the actors, Gary, and all of them wore the same clothes. Yes. <laughs> you how they get ripped and how they came. How many clothes did they bring with them? <laughs> but uh, I but know. I love the show. It was great. I got a phone call from from Irwin Allen, and he said, "If you don't mind, I'd like to like to meet my star. Would you mind coming in to meet me?" Did you say it just like that? <laughs> yes, oh, you know it was so typical Irwin. And, and, and that yeah. show in two seasons, a big network every Sunday night. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was a great show. Yeah, uh, it was. I wish uh, I wish he had lived to see how fans still love it. And you know, they last the test of time. All four of those shows that he created, uh, yes. before he started the big movies, uh, for Sight and Invention and all that, he, yeah. uh, they, those shows last the test of time. And uh, yes. brilliantly colored and uh, uh, well mastered. I think the uh, Time Tunnel, Land of Giants, really hold up to this day. Yes, I, and I think they were... Because yeah. there's nothing, period. Yes. You, you know. Yes. Uh, and that's what was so great about it. Fabulous, yes. Yeah. Now I understand that uh, Don Marshall may be doing a script uh, of a... a because you know the Star Trek movies do well. The, yes. They did a Lost in Space movie. Yes. Why not a Land of the Giants movie? Well, that's true. Um, I also wrote a book about it, uh, of what happened to us ten years later. Oh, yeah. Uh, but um, uh, it's such a huge undertaking to try to do uh, a, a film, only because finding out all the legal yeah, legal I know, ramifications. I know, because it I took a long time to get Land of the Giants on DVD. Too. I know. Yeah. And when now we do have it, and uh, now we want more. See, I I, as fans, we want more. Did you get the little egg crate with all of us? I, I, I got, yes, yes, I did. No, yeah. Every whole season. And that's the one that you got caught in, the egg crate. Where you, yeah. you went into the door and clammed on you. But, you I know, seem to get caught in everything. I know, but you look so wonderful doing it. That's, uh, Thank you. Now, Thank did you. you, where are you originally from? Uh, well, I originally I was from uh, Riverside, Illinois, okay. which is a little suburb of Chicago. Did you always want to be an actress? No. No. What would you want to be? Because, you know, Don told me a drummer. Now, I, I was taken back by that. I didn't know that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a, he was a good drummer. Yeah. Very good. And he, Buddy Rich was his friend, and uh, you got to, to know him pretty well, and that was pretty great. Yeah. He's one yeah. of the great drummers of all time. <laughs> yes, yeah. he was. Don, Don's really good at it. Oh, he's very yeah, good. Yeah. 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 I love to hear that. Well, you know, it's it's a talent, I think, or a gift oh, it or is. something, it is, you know, yeah. but um, I don't know why he gave it up. I guess when he came back to civilization there with houses so close, I guess he couldn't keep I want playing. to know what you wanted to do originally. Well, you know, originally I just wanted to continue riding rodeos. No kidding. Yeah. Not Bronco. And then, uh, yeah, everything. Um, mostly my forte was uh, the barrels and all those, you know, yeah. games. But I did everything. You I, are physical, aren't you? Yeah, oh well, I God. unfortunately, I trashed my back, so I had to give that up. I had to give that up. Well, no, uh, no, acting, I'm glad you went into it. <laughs> what are you doing now that fans can look forward to seeing uh, DNA? Well, you know, I'm not, I haven't really done anything for a while because I did wind up having back surgery. Oh, you did? So, yeah, I had my rods and screws and fusion oh, and all God that bless you but so I, I for a while I couldn't work so it's been sort of a well we got to get you back because you yes. look good on film you look good on camera and <laughs> you, still look, you still look beautiful yeah. and I'm saying that because it's true and Deanna uh, let's stay in touch you're a wonderful lady thank, thank you. you for coming on Jeff Star Talk listen it's my pleasure anytime all right mm. Deanna Lund everybody God bless you hey we'll be back with more don't go away more here at Mickey Sonority Showstoppers in North Hollywood Hey, I hope you liked tonight's episode of our look back at ABC's Land of the Giants that ran on the networks in the late 60s, early 70s. I want to thank Don Matheson, Don Marshall, and Deanna Lunt. Hey, let me tell you a little bit about our next Jeff Star Talk show. My good friend Bob Greenberg was in New York, and I sent him over to New Jersey to uh, videotape the red carpet ceremonies at the New Jersey Hall of Fame 2009. And the special inductee was Bud Abbott and Lou Costello, and they had their daughters, Patty Costello, and also Vicki Wheeler, Bud Abbott's daughter, Lou Costello's daughter. Abbott and Costello back again. So my good friend Bob Greenberg did a lot of footage, and you are gonna don't want to miss that show. I want to thank the good folks here at the Stanislaus County Fair that's going to open up on Friday, July 31st, 2009, for another great fair here in Turlock. Until then, this is your host and producer, Jeff Sutherland, saying goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord always take a liking to you. 
Don't forget our website, jeffstartalk.com. Email any questions or comments at jeffstartalk at yahoo.com. So long, everybody. Happy trails.